Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by Copper, Gold and Silver Explorer Polar X, ASX code PXX. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of Polar X, Jason Burton. Hi, Jason. Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so Polar X is exploring for copper and gold in Alaska and gold and silver at its Humboldt Range project in Nevada, USA, that has been throwing up some crazy high-grade gold and silver indicators. In Alaska, its stellar project already has a growing copper resource and the potential for a major porphyry copper gold system. However, Polar X's Caribou Dome project, also in Alaska, has been grabbing the headlines lately with a serious copper resource upgrade. Okay, Jason, let's talk Caribou Dome. What was the previous resource there and what is it now? So it was 2.8 million tonnes, so average grade of 3.1% copper, and the upgrade now is 7.2 million tonnes, average copper grade stays the same at 3.1%. But we've just modelled silver for the first time and that's a 6.5 gram per tonne average. And what about contained metal? What was the contained copper metal? What is it now? And how much contained silver have you got? Okay, so contained copper was 86,000 tonnes and in the new resource it's jumped to 224,000 tonnes and we've got almost 1.5 million ounces of contained silver. How shallow is this thing? It starts at surface and goes down to about 300 metres known mm. depth. Uh, any higher grade cores in there, do you think? Oh, definitely. Definitely. We, 2021, we had very high grade intercept, like 19 metres at uh, 7% copper. How far below surface was that? Uh, that system there starts at surface and it makes its way down and we've hit that about 100 metres beneath uh, surface. Does the resource still have legs in it, in your opinion? And if so, where do you expect to get more tonnes out of it? Yeah, the previous resource was actually modelled down to 450 metres. We've cut that out because we weren't confident that we had enough information to project it that deep. But we know the geology goes down another 150 metres below where we've cut the resource. So we're quite optimistic about drilling underneath it now to extend it. Okay, so in terms of a potential mine plan, I think you've modelled this project along with your nearby Zackley deposit. How far away is Zackley and what's the combined resource between the two? Zackley is about 35 kilometres away and when you look at the combined resource you have about 11.2 million tonnes at the moment and you're looking at around 269,000 tonnes of contained copper in that, 213,000 ounces of gold and 3.1 million ounces of silver. I know you're about to update your old scoping study, but curiously that old scoping study showed about 37 million a year in free cash. I'm sure that number will now change when you get to updating that scoping study. Jason Burton from Polarex, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB, 3AW and 4BC websites and click the Public Companies tab.